Good evening, everyone. We just returned from our dinner over at Ohana here at the Polynesian. We are staying at the Polynesian tonight in one of the brand new remodeled rooms. The Moana theme looks amazing. Oh, we love these rooms. We do, and we have a full room tour if you'd like to see what they look like. We have always loved the food here at Ohana, so mm -hmm. since they changed the menu, we definitely wanted to check it out. A few of the items stay the same, but most of them have been changed but it's all you care to enjoy. And anything that's all you care to enjoy, we're definitely here for. Although I'm not really sure why they call it all you care to enjoy, because it really is all you can eat. I'm going to stuff myself until I absolutely cannot anymore. At some point I may stop enjoying it because I've eaten too much, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna stop just because they say all you care to enjoy. That's not to say we didn't enjoy the meal, but we definitely enjoyed it. Maybe a little too much, but it was very good. We loved everything they served. The dinner pricing here is $55 per adult, $33 per child, plus tax and gratuity. DVC and annual pass holder discounts do apply. Now, as I mentioned, there were a few things that stayed the same, and one of those include live entertainment. It was so great to see live music back in the restaurant while we're enjoying dinner. We had the person serenading us and playing the ukulele as he walked around. It just added to the ambiance, and it's exactly what I love about Ohana. It's the food, it's the building itself here at Polynesian, it's the music that's going, it's the whole atmosphere, and I'm really glad that they brought him back. Starting off, they brought us a mixed green salad that had a citrus vinaigrette and almond sesame brittle. I was not sure I was going to enjoy this. The dressing was very citrusy, but very refreshing. I actually really liked this. It was a nice start to the meal, and the almond brittle actually added a really nice crunch to the salad. Although I'm not falling for your tricks, Ohana. I'm not filling up on salad at an all-you-can-eat restaurant. I'm here for the meat and maybe also the noodles because we'll get to the noodles in just a minute. And speaking of things they try to fill you up with, we had cheddar bacon biscuits and papaya coconut scones, both with honey butter. And even though I wasn't planning on eating a lot of them, they were really, really good. The bacon cheddar biscuits with the honey butter were awesome. They were a little more dense and heavy, but they were really tasty. And the coconut papaya. I didn't really want to eat these because I thought, oh, it's just more bread. I've already had the one biscuit. I still ate it because it was really good. Now, I love coconut. If you don't like coconut, probably not gonna be the greatest thing, but it was a really light, fluffy scone, had a great flavor with the papaya in there and little chunks inside the bread. I actually didn't enjoy this as much as he did, and it wasn't because of the coconut. There wasn't a lot of coconut flavor, in my opinion, but there wasn't as much papaya flavor as I expected. I actually thought it was kind of plain. It was nice and fluffy, which I liked, I actually preferred the cheddar bacon biscuit over this one. Then they started us off with our appetizers. First up was the honey coriander chicken wings. They brought these back. The sauce is still incredible. I would totally buy it by the bottle. I love these wings. They're in my top five wings anywhere on Disney property that I've ever had. I could eat an entire bowl of them. I know I need to save room for the main course, but I still had several of these wings. And next up was my favorite appetizer, the pork dumplings with a garlic chili sauce. This was different, they kind of roll it in the sauce. These were very good, they were just as good as I remember. However, they don't give you any sauce to dunk it in, it's just whatever they roll it in. So if you don't feel like there's enough sauce on there, because we did not, they actually will bring you another sauce if you'd like to try it. They actually brought us the sauce for the steak that's coming later and that together was a mm -hmm. wonderful combination. It was exactly what we felt like it needed, and that just made them that much better. And then they started bringing out our entrees in these skillets with, of course, family-style food. We've got a bunch of stuff piled in there. The base of everything, what everyone's been waiting for, <laughs> was the noodles. And yes, they are the same noodles that they used to have. A little bit sweet, a little bit savory. Absolutely love these. They go great with every single one of the meats that we have. I love the noodles here at Ohana, but again, I know they're just trying to trick you into filling up on them. This time though, I'm willing to give in and accept the noodles and fill up on those. Also in the skillet, they had some broccolini that was really just kind of basic broccoli. It was fine, <laughs> but I'm not here to eat healthy food. I'm here for the meats. There was a kielbasa sausage in there that I enjoyed a lot. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but it was actually really flavorful. And they had the roasted eight-way chicken with a chimichurri sauce on top. That was really good, but honestly, after trying that and having the wings, I like the chicken a lot, but the wings were kind of better in my opinion. 
And I actually was given my own skillet because I cannot have the regular Ohana noodles. They have yellow number five in them. So because of that, the chef did come out and offered to make me rice noodles using the same sauce that's on the noodles, but just rice noodles instead. Of course, the consistency will be different because they are different noodles. However, these were really sweet and really good, and it meant so much to me that they were willing to do this for me. These are the noodles they use for allergies, so if you have any type of allergy where you cannot have the noodle, these are what they'll use, and they were so good. I especially love the noodles with the pot stickers. The combination of those together was perfect because you have the sweet, you have the salty. It was a really, really nice combination. Everything in my skillet was the same except for the noodles but it was kind of cool that I had my very own skillet that I didn't have to share. And I will say, I tried her noodles as well as the normal noodles, and they do taste exactly the same. So as far as flavor goes, you're getting the exact same thing, but there was a slight texture difference because it was different types of noodles. Overall though, I would eat either one of them. So if you do have an allergy, you're not really missing out on anything because it tastes just like the real thing. Next, they brought the shrimp casserole, which we know many people have had questions about. Three of us were at the table, all three of us tried this, and we actually enjoyed it. It was not bad at all, we just thought it was a weird combination with everything else at the table, mm -hmm. between the noodles and the meat. This just seemed like a weird thing to add to all of that. It was good, we enjoyed it, but I only had a couple bites of it because there were other things I enjoyed way more but we still liked the flavor. It was kind of like adding a fish to all the savory meats that we had, mm -hmm. a lot of teriyaki and soy-based things, and then we had this kind of fishy thing added to it. Again, we liked it, I yeah. really enjoyed it, but it was just a weird thing to add to this particular meal. And then finally they brought out the dish that I've been waiting for. I've enjoyed all the other things, but this is what I've been watching and waiting for them to bring out. <laughs> the wood fire grilled teriyaki beef. This looked amazing. This smelled amazing and this tasted amazing. <laughs> now we'd already tried the sauce because we were dipping our pot stickers mm -hmm. in it, but the beef itself was cooked so well. It was a medium rare when we got it, which is exactly how I like it. The cut of beef was a little bit more fatty than I was hoping on some of the pieces, but several of them didn't really have any fat on them at all. It was a great dish if you like beef. I had several of these pieces and they went really, really well with the noodles if you combine it all together. Overall, this was a really good meal. We really enjoyed it, but we had to make sure we did not overstuff ourselves because we knew dessert was coming. And one of those things that has not changed is the dessert here at Ohana. The pineapple bread pudding is something we had been waiting for, looking forward to. And when they brought it out, of course, they got to pour the caramel on top and make this grand thing. Didn't last long because then all three of us ate it very quickly and we really enjoyed it. We did ask for more ice cream though. We did run out of ice cream, so there was not enough there. But this is all you care to enjoy. So anything you want more of, you can ask and they'll bring it out for you. And by the time we got to dessert, I was kind of wishing I hadn't eaten so much of the beef <laughs> and the noodles because I love the pineapple bread pudding. Mm -hmm. It is so good. And the extra ice cream was a great touch because that scoop they had on there was great until it started all melting everywhere and you didn't have enough ice cream left. So they brought us out a big bowl of vanilla ice cream to go with that. A perfect ending to a very, very filling meal. One tip we'd like to add to all of this, if you book a reservation within around an hour before fireworks, you can watch the fireworks from Ohana, which is a really nice experience mm -hmm. because you're sitting down, you're eating this amazing meal, and you have a fireworks show, so it's really awesome. We did not do that tonight because we wanted to have an earlier dinner since we're here at the resort and exploring all the stuff they've got with the new remodeled rooms, but we've done that several times before. It's a great place to watch the fireworks. Overall, with the updated menu, I think it's still a win here at Ohana. It's never been my favorite restaurant by any means, but as far as all-you-can-eat food goes, this one is up there near the top for me with Whispering Canyon over at Wilderness Lodge and all the smoked meats there. You just get a lot of different meats with your meal, plus those noodles and the pineapple coconut bread pudding. Like, I really like this meal. It's a very hearty meal, it's a very filling meal, but everything is still really good. You're not just eating meat because it's meat, you actually enjoy it. So overall, we really like this meal and definitely think it's worth the price. We hope you found that review helpful and let us know down in the comments if you've been to Ohana since they reopened with the new menu, what you thought about it. I know there's a lot of mixed opinions on some of the items on the menu, but overall, we were pretty happy with it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. We're here with the ears.